That's a pearly guy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Six stream, baby. I was like, I got bronchitis. Ah! How we doing? How we doing? A part of me really wanted to play Stanley Parable today. Because that game does most of the talking. <laughs> oh! But no. The lovely people have voted. You have voted. Alright, let's see. Let's find some dice. You never know, dude. You never know with a gif. You just never know with a gif. You really don't. I'm gonna trust this one. What's up, Pineapple Pope? I really hope this gif is appropriate. I feel like you should be able to click a magic button and that magic button makes it so that no, no profanity can be shared through gifts. How are we doing, Pineapple? Good to see you. It's been a bit. I hope things were well for you. How have you been for the past month? Paternity leave went great for me. I'm tired. I'm sick, and that's a real bummer. But I'm still here. We're doing the best we can. Nevertheless. But I hope you're well. I hope that things are good for you and yours. And I hope you had a great past month. So the worst part, my voice I can push through. Honestly, I don't feel bad at all. Um, and I don't even know if you can see it on the camera. But right here and right here, I have two ulcers. Okay. I'm not going to show them. That feels like terms of service. <laughs> That feels inappropriate. Um, but nothing hurts as bad. My voice doesn't hurt. It sounds like it hurts, but it really doesn't. My voice doesn't hurt. I'm not that congested anymore. It's all kind of moved down to my chest. It's moving out of my system. Um, <clears throat> but doggone, if my ulcers don't hurt worse than anything. And then this meteor that landed on my face. I don't know what's going on. Having a baby for some reason has brought out all the things. But yes, I hope you're well. I hope that everyone's doing good. I see Zando down in the chat, driving the struggle bus, for real. But the thing is, is that I don't feel bad. I really have pretty good energy. And maybe it's because of the fact that I've just, you know, been off for a month or whatever. And so I'm excited to get back behind the wheel. I don't know what it is. Welcome to the chat, by the way, H-Man. I see down and down below, we've got some more friends down there. Sneaky Pigs, Zando. I think the rest are bots, but maybe you aren't. Who was the bot? Uh, well, they weren't a bot, but then I thought they were bots for like years. Introvert batteries are fully charged. No way, no, no energy is shared during these streams. My introverted energy, I think that's, I think that I don't know this. I've not done a study. I'm not a doctor. But I think that streaming takes no introversion, extroversion energy. None of it. I don't use any of my energy for it. Now, maybe if I had people in the chat with me, like in the, in the Discord, maybe then that would be the thing. You guys are going to hear a lot of voice cracks, by the way. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if I got bronchitis. Trombone! What's up, my friend? How are we doing? Is that music crazy loud or what? No? 16. Okay, it's not that bad. No, don't even say it. Don't even say it, man. I got a baby. Don't even say the word in my chat. Where's the mods at? Where are my mods? Get rid of such a mindset. I'm terrified of it. Dude, I've done, I've gone above and beyond. I never stopped wearing a mask even when everybody else in the world stopped wearing a mask. 
Not everybody else in the world. Just in North Carolina. Hmm. Love this state. H-Man is the mod. That's it. That's the joke. None of them. No, none of the vid. None of the Rona. Just a gunk. Truth be told, I haven't lost the gunk. I had it at the exact same time um, whenever the baby was born. Lurk, all good. Sneaky pigs. Thanks for Lurk, my friend. H-Man is still a better mod than I am for Stained. Everybody's just fine at the modding life. What's up, Stained? Speak of the devil. Your name was just dropped in the chat. And now here we go. How are we doing, Stained? How's your day been? How's everybody's day been? Trombone, H-Man. Can't lie, I want the gunk. No. <laughs> you do not. I do not want the gunk. A sick day sound. Well, see, I don't do this. And you won't either. <laughs> My friend, my friend, once you have a baby, sick days don't exist anymore. You don't get those. In fact, you panic because if you give your child the sickness, then they can't go to daycare. And so then you've got to be home with your, with your child and you're sick, taking care of this child who needs you, man. It's awful. Need to watch Holy Musical Batman from Starkid. Ask Sneaky for confirmation about how much of a banger is the soundtrack. Wait, is, it a, is it a movie or a TV show or a YouTube video? What is it? You mentioned it in the chat yesterday. I think it was Stain's chat or something. What is it, Trombone? Give me some frame of reference here. Is it something that can be dropped um, over in Discord? Musical that is available on YouTube? Okay, we'll drop it over on the Discord somewhere. I'll ping it. I'll add it to my watch list. Nothing gets watched quite as avidly as my YouTube. Quite tongue in cheek. That's all right. You could always put a trigger warning if it's particularly, or content warning if it's particularly uh, inappropriate. See, there was something I wanted to show on stream. Let's let's get this pulled up real quick. Friends, I want I want to try and I want to try and start providing more content for you guys. Content hashtag content. So we're gonna do something real fast. Let's find this. Let's take away our bookmark bar. Goodbye. So um. Some of you may or may not know, but I actually write for uh, Rethink Church. Rethink Church is a ministry out of the United Methodist Church. And um, we have some connections. But they uh, they have me write for them once a month. And so I wanted to read through my latest article because I feel like it's a good one. It's a good one. And I want to I wanna share it with you guys. So, oh, I'm gone. Where have I gone? I'm not here. Why am I not here? Romeo, oh Romeo. Wherefore art thou? Romeo. Ah! Why was I gone? <laughs> I don't know where I went. All right, well. Whatever. I'm back. Let's see. Um, should be this one. Yes, yes over this rethink rethink church they do awesome stuff um so i wrote an article for them let's see oh that's not gonna mess up everything probably will did that mess up everything it did not dope nice let's let's tighten that in a little bit huh Right there. That's nice. All right. Stain says, I'm okay. Worked on a lot of a church plant proposal. Stuck at the moment. A sweet lady from my church who I hugged Sunday in church died. A sudden heart attack. Not sure I'm going to be able to do the funeral. So kind of stressed about that. Delivered meals to people today and got some work done. So all in all, I'm okay. Oh, man. That is tough, dude. There, You know, that's something that you don't really think about. Uh, but there is a toll. There's like a real toll that pastors take. 
um, whenever parishioners pass. Uh, especially the unexpected ones. And especially the long time ones. I remember my, my last appointment, we had somebody who had been there from like day one and was like right there beside me, like helping me every step of the way. Um, and they passed while I was on vacation. And it was like, oh no. So I totally get it. I'm back, Zando. I've seen Zando lurking down there. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if Zando was a part of the stream or not. So um, it's not about Hearthstone. Despite the uh, despite the image that um, Ryan shows there, but it's five games that can enrich your faith. That well, wasn't exactly the title that I gave them, but it's a good one. It's a fair title. You know what? I just realized is this going to line up the whole time, or is it going to eventually change? No, it lines up. Okay. So, well, your your little um, Inte has been down there for a while, even if you haven't. Ooh, ooh, not some left and right stereo stuff going on here. I didn't realize I needed to listen to the stream in stereo. Whoa, improved experience on the chiptune. Anyway, um, I figured we'd read through this list. So this is a list that I put together. Five video games to enrich your faith that I wrote for Rethink Church. They're an awesome organization if you've never heard of them. Uh, they're doing cool stuff. And they the coolest thing about them is that they've commissioned me to write an article for them once a month. And... Um, this is the one that I wrote for this month. And it's not getting the kind of traction that I wanted it to, so I'm going to share it here. Uh, but really, I should start sharing these anyway, uh, just because it's it's a good thing to do. Um, I won't read through it necessarily because I want you to go read the article for yourself. You can find all these things on umc.org. If you go to umc.org and then you go to new to the UMC, and then you go to the bottom of there and you find the articles. That's one thing, the, the, sometimes it can be very difficult to find particular articles if you want to know. But the, the best way to do it, if you want to find video game articles, okay? Hang on, this is going to look awful for just a second. If you want to find video game or anime or anything written by me, you're going to go to that search bar right there, this bad boy. And you're going to type in Nathan Webb. I think, I think that'll do. Yeah, there we go. So if you type in Nathan Webb over there, it's going to bring up all the articles that I've written and then some audio mags and some stuff that, that has been written either about me or something like that. So that'd be the way to do it right there. Just type in Weeb. I wonder if that's even there. Let's find out what, what happens if you type in Weeb. Nothing. What about Weeaboo? What if we type in the full? Has anybody ever cited, cited Weeaboo on here? No. Thank goodness. Okay, cool. Um, with that, let's go back. Let's go back. I don't know what kind of SEO they do. I wonder if... um. I wonder if uh, if uh, Nathan Weeb is on here. <laughs> <coughs> Folks, I really am so sorry about this cold. It's not going anywhere, and I'm very sorry. It's awful. I hate it. <clears throat> There's nothing I can do about it. Okay. So these are five games. Five games that I think you should play with your church. That's kind of the that's kind of the crux of the thing. So a lot of the people that read these articles are either pastors or church leaders um, or involved in a church. Sometimes they're spiritual seekers. Sometimes they're people on the outskirts. But this list is for kind of both groups. For the first group, right, for leaders, if you want to include the nerd, the geek, and the gamer in your church, which I hope you will, these are games that you could play as a Bible study. I think it'd be a great idea, one of which we've even done. Two of which we've done here at Checkpoint. So these are great things. You should do them. But these are going to be five video games that you should play to enrich your life, to enrich your faith journey, or just to play them with your church. That'd be my ultimate recommendation here. So five games that I want to recommend here, and several of them we have over on our YouTube channel if you want to watch Checkpoint play them. The first one, Undertale, of course. Undertale, fun fact is like the one video game that I know of that has been given to the Pope, and I think it's been given to the Pope twice. The first time by Matt Pat. I don't remember what the second time was, but I feel like I feel like the Pope has been given this game twice. And that's just a fascinating fun fact. Trombone was granted an extension. Congratulations. Don't fail the course. Extend all the time you need. So, first game being Undertale. 
<clears throat> if you've never played Undertale, you hurt my feelings, okay? <clears throat> Those of you at Checkpoint, you need to play Undertale. If you've never played Undertale and you're at Checkpoint, you're hurting my feelings actively, daily, on the reg. Undertale's like my favorite game of all time, and <clears throat> it's so overhyped, and that's the real bummer. But the good thing about Undertale is that it tells a really incredible story of pacifism and genocide that's literally in the name. And I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know what else to say other than the fact that it's just one that allows you to wrestle with the meaning behind video games. It's so good. Never played Undertale in 2022, right, Zando? Yeah, I know Zando's a fan. I need to finish Undertale, says Trombone. I loved it, but got frustrated and took a break. I'm still annoyed at Danganronpa. What did, what did Danganronpa do to you? Is it, are the puzzles getting uh, frustrating? No shade. Absolutely no shade if you have to use a walkthrough for Danganronpa. So the thing about Undertale is that it's a game where you don't have to kill anything. So whereas like Dragon Quest or, um, you know, most video games are going to enter into the <laughs> never heard of Undertale. Never heard anybody mention it. It must be some new, that's some newfangled game they just came out with. The whole principle of the game is that you don't have to kill anything. That's what they, that's what they uh, lure you in with. That's the hook of the game. And I just think that's a good start. I think that's a good start to a video game. It opens up some really good conversations um, about words and the words that we use. Um, the characters are great. The story is great. The community is a bit toxic. I'm a bit toxic about it. I will never stop talking about this game. I'm never, listen, listen, listen. I'm never going to stop talking about this game. I'm never going to stop. So if you don't play it, you're just going to have to keep hearing me talk about it until you play it. That's all I'm saying. I'm the most toxic. I don't know, man. It gets pretty toxic. <laughs> it gets pretty toxic. Like, I don't know, Scoob. <laughs> My throat. Ah! All right. The next game. We do. Oh, the most toxic fan base. Oh, I don't know about that. There is League of Legends. No, that's a good question. What is the most toxic fan base? Does it have to be of a video game? <laughs> or can it just be the most toxic fan base of a site? Because I would say, what is it, 4chan? Is it 4chan, that, that site that I'm thinking of? Or is it something I'm thinking of? No toxicity in LOL, not a bit. There are some pretty toxic gaming communities out there. I don't know if LOL earns the spot either. I don't know. Wow? Aw. Oh. I think the wow people are good deep down. Who are the ones that, no, you know what? I remember, didn't, didn't wasn't it wow that there were people that would have like funerals and stuff in wow? The church. <laughs> yeah, got them. Um, wow was the game where they would have funerals and stuff and there'd be people that would come and like raid on the funerals and yeah. Hmm. Hmm. If I'm thinking of the right game, I feel like that was wow. Okay, second game, Before Your Eyes. We have a full playthrough of Before Your Eyes, but I would recommend playing it for yourself. The whole uh, conceit of this game is that it connects to your webcam whenever you install the game, and whenever you blink in real life, the game blinks and progresses the story forward. And so, first off, that's a, that's a novel enough concept for me. I can't wait until it comes to VR, if it ever comes to VR, because man, that would be, that would be the way to do it. But it's an emotional story. It's an emotional whirlwind. And you're also literally having a staring contest. So you want to hold your eyes open because you want to experience more of the story. But if you physically can't, then you're, you're literally physically embodied with the story being told and being held back by your own limitations. <clears throat> I think that's an incredible uh, storytelling method. That's just me. Maybe that's just me. So I recommend playing that one. Um, plus it's a short one. So you could really do like, if you wanted to, you could meet like early in the morning with your, with your Bible study group, play the game together, 
and then talk about it and be out before lunch. It could be done. Life is Strange. Come on, you guys. Another game you've heard me talk about a million times. Play Life is Strange. The deceit of this game, deceit, conceit, deceit, conceit, conceit. The conceit, the conceit of this game is that you are playing as Max Caulfield and you have the ability to turn back time like Cher. Dated reference? Does anybody get that reference? And I made a Cher joke last night in Stained Glasses stream and it unnoticed. I don't know if it was unnoticed or if it was noticed and ignored. I don't know which one I would be more hurt by. Share can't turn back time. I'm still stuck on the first time bullet battle rhythm game because I'm hitting the correct buttons to load and shoot the bullet and it won't fire. Oh, yeah, bullet battle is pretty awful. If I could turn back time. She wishes she could. Too busy dying in the game. I'm all right. I'm all right with you just missing it. Share would turn back time to keep Sunny from running into that tree. Oh, Sunny and Share. <clears throat> Life is Strange. Fantastic game. Max Caulfield. Max Caulfield can turn back time, and she discovers throughout the series of the game that it's actually not all that it's cracked up to be. Uh, just because you can turn back time doesn't mean that you can control decisions that people make. That's a sermon, friends. That's the sermon. But there's so much more to this game. That could be all this game was about, and it would be a fantastic game. But it's about so much more. It's about sexuality. It's about death. Uh, it's about the, the evils of the world. And ultimately, it's about the difficulty of choices whenever we have to make a choice. It took everything in me to not make the bay or bay joke in this uh, article for the UMC. Took everything in me, but I held off. I managed to not make it, but man, did I think about it. If you never played Life is... I'm only talking about the first one. Life is Strange 2, Life is Strange uh, True Colors are great. Really, Life is Strange, the first one, though, is the one that I think... I think it works. I think it works the best. Road 96, game number four. Number four, Burger King Foot Lettuce. Number four is Road 96. This is one that I went back and forth on. I don't know if I would recommend this game if you're wanting like an excellent gaming experience. You never played Life is Strange, Zando? You gotta play Life is Strange. I don't know. A lot of people don't like Life is Strange. So I'm not gonna like super harp on it, but I love it. I love the experience. If you don't wanna play it for yourself, you could watch our playthrough of it also over on our VOD channel. Road 96, if sneaking isn't on this list, is it even a real list? No. This is just games to play with your church. Sneaking is sneaking is if you just want an A-tier gaming experience on your own time. If you're wanting the community experience, then these are the games I recommend. Road 96. Road 96 was a game that I was not expecting. The conceit of this game is that you are a you are playing through the series of several children who are wanting to cross the border out of a dictatorship run country. It's not good, things are not well. There's a big election coming up. There's a lot of disgusting stuff going on. There's a, a, a lot of um, a, a, another, another, another toxic culture. There's a lot going wrong in this society and so children are fleeing the country and they're dying on the way. You are taking the reins of several children throughout the story, leading up to the election, trying to do what you can to get over the border. Fascinating. Fascinating, uh, compelling storyline in and of itself. You're gonna meet a bunch of characters throughout the way. You're gonna impact a lot along the way. You wanna make it happen. It's just got some really great political topics. So if you're wanting to broach into the already tricky enough waters, murky enough waters of, of, of church politics um, and our social justice 
this is a great way to start those conversations by experiencing them firsthand rather than playing to people's, um, you know, ethos. You're able to actually allow them to experience a, a, a pathos response to real concerns going on in the country. It's a great game. Great game. Well, it's not a beautiful game. It's not a fantastic game, but it's a great game. It does a good job. Must play for anyone who holds an anti-refugee sentiment. I, I would think so. I think it just dispels a lot of the illusions of hatred uh, and boundaries that we draw for ourselves. Uh, it gives us the opportunity to be in the shoes of someone that doesn't look or act or think like us. And what else are games good for? Sneaking nerdy sermon in 2022. Let's make it happen. We'll see. We'll see. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta scrounge somehow. Scrounge one of those. Final game. The final game. It takes two. This one is kind of a trick because it's not really a group game. This is a two-person game, a co-op game. If you never played these games, phenomenal. Recommend playing it. Um, but I think that especially as the United Methodist Church is going through a schism right now, um, with the Global Methodist Church splitting at the beginning of this month. Um, as all of that mess is happening, what a fantastic time to recommend a game like It Takes Two, where the beginning of the story is you are, the two of you who are playing the game, are a divorcing husband and wife. And then your souls get sucked into dolls, and you have to somehow, somehow manage to escape the doll's clutches and continue living, and of course, learn something about one another along the way. I'm not going to spoil the ending. I'm not going to spoil any of the story, but it's fantastic. The game gives lots of feels. Yes. And it is, it is definitely has one of the more shocking scenes of the year <laughs> with one particularly innocent doll going through a brutal experience. Uh, you know someone going to make me a wall mod for Road 96. I Look, listen, I would totally recommend the game. And I think that it, it, it approaches a lot of different angles. It's not quite as nuanced as Life is Strange. Like, Life is Strange, there are characters in it that are bad. There are characters in it that are good. And there are characters in it that are murky. And I think most of the characters in Life is Strange are, are murky. It takes two. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> it's pretty clear. Um who is good and who is bad. You know what I'm saying? So, that's something to consider. But these are five games. Five games that you, right now, could sit down with a leader of your church, or if you are the leader of the church, you can play these games with your church, with your congregation, with a small group. You could start up a video game small group right now on any of these five games and have an absolutely phenomenal experience. So that's what I wanted to recommend to you during this time um, and let you know about that and that that was happening. So I hope that you'll consider it. I hope that you'll consider it. And know that those articles come out once a month. I'll try and read them over here on stream. Either I'll play the um, I'll play the, the voice chat or I'll read them to you guys or we can read through and work through them one at a time. We'll have fun with it. Still waiting for Methodist game, Gaming to play that and for me to scream the entire time at Adam's comments while I try to stay family friendly in the chat. It's a great game. Gotta get Helen down for a nap, hop back onto the stream. All good, Zando. That scene horrified my kids. My oldest put down the controller and said I can't do it. It was disturbing, dude. It was disturbing. It was a tough scene to watch, man. Gotta play it. Gotta play it. My wife and I celebrated our 17th anniversary, proving we have not played it takes two. <laughs> yeah, it's a game that I think me and my wife could play. We don't really have the, um... She doesn't really rage on games, I'm more the one that rages on games. But even still, I don't know. She doesn't like games that much, and so I feel like that would be a risky thing in and of itself. Folks. Welcome to Checkpoint Church. We appreciate those of you hanging out in the chat. I made him do it, and then we talked about why I was so disturbing. That's a great, that's a great conversation starter. And it was disturbing, dude. Did you take him to go see Doctor Strange after? <laughs> oh no! Well, go play that scene and then watch the Doctor Strange scene and see if they did it different. See if one did it better. You know my thoughts. All right, 
We got a Manga Spice Cafe to open. Manga Spice! Oh, something flew out at me. <laughs> For those of you that are unfamiliar, Manga Spice Cafe is a monthly manga subscription service that delivers straight to your house. You get three manga and some sweets from Japan and China, China, and all over the place. It's always fun. The snacks are sometimes good and sometimes disgusting, but it's always a good time. And I always enjoy uh, getting some new manga to read uh, and expanding my bookshelf. Uh, I'd love to start giving away some of them. Yeah, maybe we'll start giving away some of them on stream. I think that'd be fun, but that's all in the future. Um, we're gonna open this bad boy up and see what's inside, see what we got going on. So let's find out what this month's Manga Spice Cafe could be. Uh, I might be a little wary of some of the food. Um, I've actually had this one for a little while, but since I was on paternity, I didn't obviously open it. I wanted to open it here on stream. Let's see what day it says it was delivered. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be eating any of these things. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be eating any of these things. This is almost a month old. So um, we'll, we'll take a look. We'll take a look. It's in a book. If they have any directions on them, if they have like an expiration date, that would make me feel more comfortable. But if it doesn't have an exp expiration date, I might I might get a little nervous. Let's find out what's inside, huh? Let's see what we got. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh my, okay. The Manga Spice Cafe, it's, uh, it's modeled after a maid cafe. So they always give you a maid of the month. This is the Manga Spice Maid, of maid Cafe. But it appears that this, this person has a grenade in their mouth, which is interesting. Bringing the heat this month with new action-packed manga containing the baddest MCs around. Oh, whoa. Okay, so this is just cool. This is the cool month. It's a bunch of cool characters. Let's find out what cool characters we got inside this box. A Elden Ring. We got Elden Ring. That's the first snack. The first snack out of the box is Elden Ring. Baked, never fried. I cannot imagine a bagged onion ring, dude. A bagged onion ring? It's good, August. We're all good here. Uh, a big roll, a grilled seaweed roll, barbecue sauce flavored. Uh, it's, it's good, it's good. It doesn't expire until next April. So there we go, we got two snacks. No, I just started letting watch Marvel, so my wife and kids are watching the movies right now. They just watched Endgame on Sunday. We'll just wait until they get to the Doctor Strange game. It's a game changer. It's more of a game changer than Endgame. The baked corn snack as usual. The snack that smiles back. I still can't believe we got an, uh, an onion ring. Another corn snack. They love these corn snacks, dude. Ooh, I got two ramens. So they always give me a ramen. This is my first ramen here. I don't know why they gave me two this time, though. And there's my second one. We got dos. Dos ramens. Ooh, what is this little delightful, little delectable little treat? Oh, it's like a little croissant. A croissant? Is this a croissant? Ow. That makes me very anxious. There's no date on this bad boy, but man, it is vacuum sealed. I don't know if you can see how squishy it is. Um, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Choco brownie. We got a choco brownie from, who is this from? I can't read it. Meister's, Meister's choco brownie. We got some little, some Orion jellies. Some little Orion jelly bellies. There we go. We got a drink. I don't know what this drink is. Yogurt, <laughs> yogurt flavor drink. I hate yogurt. <laughs> That's a bad start. A yogurt flavored drink and I don't like yogurt. We'll do our best. Got a couple more treats up here. Let's see, we got a little Pan Pan Swiss roll. Looks like a little strawberry Swiss roll maybe. That should be delicious. Expiration date, please. Expiration date, please. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. We're good, we're good. We're still in time. And then last but not least, Boba Milk Tea Mochi. Boba Tea Mochi. Okay. Okay. All right. Now we got to find out what manga we got, and then we'll uh, we'll try some of these sweet treats. We got three manga. Yogurt drink does sound disgusting, dude. 
First up, Sakamoto Days. I've heard of this, but I've never I've never looked into it. Sakamoto Days. Let's see. Tara Sakamoto was once a legendary hitman, considered the greatest of all time. Bad guys feared him, assassins, assassins revered him. But then one day he quit, got married, and had a baby. He's now living the quiet life as the owner of a neighborhood store. But how long can Sakamoto enjoy his days of retirement before his past catches up to him? Time has passed peacefully for Sakamoto since he left the underworld. He's running a neighborhood store with his lovely wife and child and has gotten a bit out of shape. But one day, a figure from his past pays him a visit with an offer he can't refuse. Return to the assassin world or die. So this is kind of like, um, what's it called? House Husband. This isn't dissimilar from House Husband, except he's got a, a big, a big gut. Neat. Neat. I'll take it. Next up, second one. Deadpool Samurai. Deadpool? Marvel pairing up with this? Neat. All right. Cool. Everyone's favorite Merc with a Mouth has finally come to manga. As soon as Deadpool moves to Tokyo, he runs afoul of some familiar faces. Before he knows it, he's teaming up with new heroes, battling gods, attending concerts, and being repeatedly dismembered. That's good, right? Anyway, Deadpool lands in Tokyo with a bang. What could possibly go wrong when Iron Man invites Deadpool to join the Avengers' new Samurai Squad? After all, Deadpool is just in it for the money and the trip to Japan. This is fine, right? Interesting. A Deadpool manga. I mean, I'm all about it. I am all about it. I hope he meets, like, um, some anime characters. Like, I wonder if, like, Goku is going to be in it at some point. How partnered up are we getting here? The art is definitely good. I like it. I like it. I'm excited for that one. That should be fun. A Deadpool manga. Gotta love it. All right, last but not least, Kaiju number eight from Now You Matsumoto. Oh boy, this is a lengthy description on the back of this one. Here we go. Everybody ready? With the highest Kaiju emergence rates in the world, Japan is no stranger to attack by deadly monsters. Enter the Japan Defense Force, a military organization tasked with the neutralization of Kaiju. Kafka Hibino, a Kaiju Corpse cleanup man, has always dreamed of joining the force. When he gets another shot of achieving his childhood dream, he undergoes an unexpected transformation. <coughs> How can he fight Kaiju now that he's become one himself? Kafka hopes to one day keep his pact with his childhood friend Mina to join the Japan Defense Force and fight by her side. But while she's out neutralizing Kaiju as third division captain, Kafka is stuck cleaning up the aftermath of her battles. When a sudden rule change makes Kafka eligible for the Defense Force, he decides to try out for the squad once more. There's just one problem. He made the Defense Force's neutralization list under the codename Kaiju Number 8. Neat! It's kind of like World Trigger. I like it. Picasso. Cool. All right, let's try some of these disgusting snacks. Huh? Let's see if I have some more information on this, on this weird little croissant. I'd like to know more about the croissant, please. Excuse me, I was just wondering if I could have some information on the croissant. Nope. 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 Oh! Milk! A fluffy milk breadstick. Milk, milk breadstick. You think it's a milk breadstick? Or is it a milk breadstick? Okay. 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 Um, let's try Elden Rings first. Crispity crunch of Elden Rings. I really only sort of like onions. I wouldn't say that I'm like a mega fan of onions in general. But we'll give him a shot. Uh, I can't open it. Give him the power! Oh! <laughs> okay. That was like a smack in the face. Oh, wow, that's pungent. Pungent. I'm gonna have to throw this trash away immediately. There you go. Just just like it says on the tin, dude, onion ring. It doesn't taste as strong as it smells. 
Cool, cool. Onion ring. I like it. I can dig it. Corn snack. Oh, you know what? I want to do that. I want to do the seaweed roll. I'm excited about this one. A barbecue seaweed roll. I don't know why this just... This, this seems fun. It's like sushi without the fish. I'm all about it. <coughs> oh my goodness. No joke, it's just a seaweed roll, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a seaweed roll! There ain't nothing in this bad boy. It's just a it's just a slab of seaweed. Somebody just sent me a slab of seaweed. That's all there is to it. <laughs> okay. It honestly tastes pretty bad. It just kind of tastes like fish food. There's no fish in it. There's no rice in it. It's just seaweed. It's a little bit like eating a leaf. How kind of them to send me some dried lettuce. All right, corn snack. Corn snack, general, basic, Dorymon on the front, easy to peasy. Let's find out what's inside here. So we got a flavor. It just looks like standard cheese flavor. These are always about the same. Nothing too special. It's a Cheeto. It's a Cheeto, 100%. All right, another corn. Let's see if this is another Cheeto flavor, if this one's got a funny flavor. Then we'll move on to the real piece de resistance in the savory drinks, or the savory stuff. Oh, this looks like maybe like a sour cream and onion. Sour cream and onion. Delish. Okay. Sweets. So we've got some jellies. I'll probably save those for the very end. We'll start out with our little strawberry treat here. See how that goes. Strawberries. I like strawberries. You like strawberries? Strawberries, blueberries. What's your favorite berry, friends? What's your favorite berry? And nobody better say banana. Bananas are bonus berries at best. All right, strawberry little cake. A little dry. A little dry. Not bad. Good cake. Good flavor. All right. Let's try the little choco brownie next. Favorite fruit is blueberry. I like blueberries depending on the day. Strawberry is probably my favorite. But I like real strawberries and artificial strawberries I really don't like. What's your favorite artificial treat flavor? It's a little choco brownie, just like it sounds like. It's just a brownie. It is like a brick. It's like biting into a brick. Yeah, not a good one. Not a good one. Nope. No, thank you, Meisters. No, thank you, Meisters. Now, this is the milk bread stick. Milk bread. Milk bread stick. Milk bread stick. Milk bread stick. And man, it is sealed real tight. Oh, that smells amazing. Hold up. That smells fantastic. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. This is life changing. I don't know why I thought this was gonna be sweet. This is so tasty. I want, I want this every day. I want this warm, and, and smothered in honey. Oh my goodness, I want communion with this, dude. I want this, I want this for communion. I don't know what milk bread is, but this beats out King's Hawaiian 10 to one, man. Wow, that was good. I wish I'd, I wish I'd, that'd have been my last one, cause that was good. Let's try nasty yogurt drink. Let's try this yogurt drink. Yogurt drink. Whatever. We'll find out. Find out how this bad boy tastes. I'm not setting my hopes too high. Bottoms up. No, it's not chunky. Have you ever had, have you ever had aloe vera water?
It's like aloe vera water, but with Sprite instead. It's not bad. It's not bad. I've also had, I have had aloe juice. Yeah, it's like that. It's very similar. I guess aloe juice has more, more chunks in it sometimes. No chunks in this, but very similar consistency, just kind of thick. I mean, it's, it's pretty good, really. It's not bad at all. I would give it, I would give it a, I would give it a seven out of 10. Seven out of 10, not too bad. Um, I want to try the boba first. Let's try the boba mochi first. Gotta love some mochi. Let's see if I can get this close enough to the camera. Boba milk tea mochi. Apologies for my hangnails. Let's see how this goes. I do love mochi, man. Love me some mochi. Pretty run of the mill. Tastes like mochi. Berries. Berries and cream. I'm a lad. Last but not least, let's finish it out with some Orion fruit snacks. They smell good. Little fruit snacks. Just what you'd expect. Oh, impossible to chew. Impossible to chew. I can't do that. Finish them off with some chunky drink. Oh, it's white cream soda. It's cream soda, dude. It's not yogurt. It's white cream soda. Felice. 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 Oh, that's not bad. So that's basically the taste I was tasting, yeah? It's like Sprite, aloe, same consistency as, as yeah, cream soda. How's it going? It's going good. What's up, Down East Ministry? First time chat. Appreciate you being here. We're just finishing up an unboxing of some Manga Spice Cafe. Manga Spice Cafe. Had fun. We got three. So as always, the way I like to conclude these videos is to see if I came out on top here. So we got three manga. Uh, $9.99, $9.99, $9.99. Did not come out on top this time. So this is $30 worth of manga, not including tax. Uh, and these assortment of sweet treats, which are normally just icing on the top, but this time I actually paid for them. Because um, these, these boxes are like 35, and then shipping makes them like 38. So I paid like $8 for those snacks. Didn't come out on top. A lot of times with these boxes, it'll be where I really come out on top with a bunch over, um, where I'll end up getting like $60 worth of stuff and only paying 35 for it. But today was not that day. Next month, I'm very excited. The next one that I open up, I've already... So they always, the way they do it is they give us one sneak peek and the sneak peek for next month is the short stories of Death Note. And I'm super amped about that. Super amped. Downey's Ministries, welcome, welcome. As I said, I don't know who's still hanging out in the chat with us. I don't know if um, H-Man is back. We're glad that everybody's here with us. We're going to be playing some games. We've unboxed some Manga Spice Cafe. We have read an article. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, yes, of course. we got to give away a game. So let me see. I'm going to go ahead and pull up our game giveaway. Um, we might actually have to give away two games. And we have a new game giveaway that just got started. So let's see. Yes, we have two games to give away. First off, we got to give away a copy of Sonic Adventure DX. Are there boxes like that which aren't manga? Of course. Yeah, there's tons of subscription boxes out there. I'm going to delete all the invalids. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We're not giving we're not giving away anything to invalid options. Okay, we're going to draw a winner. Sonic Adventure DX. We had 51 people sign up to potentially win a copy of the Steam Key. Only one will win. Let's find out who it is. Drum roll, please. Red Snow! Congratulations to Red Snow. I'll send you your Steam key later on this week. And now, another giveaway that we just wrapped up. If I can get the screen to load. We need to give away a copy of Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. If you miss these games, shame on you. They're fantastic games. If you like Lord of the Rings, they're a must play. 
All right, 62 potential users signed up to win this copy of this game. Drum roll, please. Anas Ayed. Anas, congratulations for winning a copy of Middle Earth. I'll send this over, as I said. But folks, if you want to drop exclamation point gimme in the chat, that'll give you the next lineup, the next free game that we are giving away. It's a copy of the game Boundless, which I'd actually never heard of, um, but it looks like Minecraft. It looks very similar to Minecraft in a good way. So enter for a chance to potentially win a copy of a game for yourself in your Steam libraries. Oh, free. It's a way that we're practicing our extravagant generosity as we're giving away a free game every two weeks. We have since the very beginning of Checkpoint Church. I'm going to cough again. <coughs> I actually need some more tea. I'm running low on tea. <clears throat> So, folks, over on our Discord, Expansion Point Discord in the chat, we vote on games to play every single week. And um, we vote on them the day before we play. And today, we're going to be playing a game that was recommended through that system called Lost in Random. I'm going to go ahead and put a no spoilers tag. I don't want any spoilers. Um, well, back seating's fine, I guess. I don't mind back seating. Whoops. What did I delete? I deleted something and I don't know what it was. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! What did I delete? Oh, I remember it was first, first playthrough. Yeah, I've never seen this game. I have no idea what's going on. Okay. Dope. That should be updated in the system there and we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna see how this game goes, see how it is. I'm hearing good things. I feel like people have been incredibly excited about it since we discovered we we're gonna be playing it. But if you want to be involved in the part of those decisions and making the decisions for what games we play each week, exclamation point Discord, you can join our Discord. we got a super active Discord. We're active every single day of the week, all the time, asking questions and engaging in the chat and different places there. So you should be there. It's a lot of fun. It's a good time, a good place to be. We'd love to see you over in that space. Now, let's get into it with some Lost in Random. Uh, I didn't care for the fact that I had to, I had to go and install the EA launcher to play this game. And don't nobody want that. Don't nobody want that. Um, you know what? I need some more tea. So I'm going to get some more tea. I'm trying to figure out. I wonder if I have anything that I can play for you guys. Do I have it so the intermission pulls up a thing? I'm going to test real quick. Nope. Sure don't. Let's see. Let's watch something funny while I do that. Is there anything funny that's going on in the world right now, friends? Anything funny yet appropriate? Is there anything appropriate to watch? Do not even know. I watch so many things. So many things being watched! Is there anything appropriate? <laughs> that's the real, that's the real testament. Oh, this is a this is a pure one right here. You have you seen um, have you guys seen the uh, Stardew Valley mods where people are modding Grandpa and like changing the the bed or something or turning him into the bed? Somebody showed concerned ape those bits, so we'll watch that real quick. We'll watch that. Well, I'm glad that it was shaped like that, at least. Not too bad. I don't think there's any wordy dirts. Whoops. I guess a warning. There could be wordy dirts. Could be wordy dirts in the chat here in this guy's YouTube video. But this is him showing Concerned Ape, the creator of Stardew Valley. The Stardew Valley memes with Grandpa. I'm going to go make me some tea while this is playing. Enjoy. I don't know if you have seen this at all. Oh, Aaron. yeah. Oh, yeah. You of have course. seen these? I want to get I your know, reaction. I all the memes. I was there during the uh, R place, R slash place. Mm -hmm. All of it. I want to get your reaction to some of these. I don't know if you've seen all of them. I know you've seen a couple of them here, but uh, we'll just, I want to go through and just see. So here is, uh, you know, people have been making mods that replace Grandpa in the opening cutscene. 
And so this one That's is funny. Grandpa with slightly worse bed. So <laughs> kind of kind of tame, sleeping on a decline there. We have I like it. <laughs> Grandpa-less bed. There is no Grandpa. <laughs> Here Now there's nothing. There's nothing in this one entirely. No, no intro, grandpa, no bed, nothing. And that's that's the template that you got to start with. Oh yeah, that's right. This one fuels the other ones. Now here's grandpa is the bed. This oh one's my gosh. a little more terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. I don't disturbing. like. I don't like that this is a hand. I think that should be a foot if you're gonna go this route. But that one's oh, always yeah. disturbing. I agree with you. <laughs> We have Grandpa's a Joja Cola addict. Wow. Um, <laughs> just a just a wow. That's fair. Extra crushed. Extra <laughs> Maybe that's crushed why he's so blue. Burden. Yeah. Here's Grandpa's bed is the envelope, <laughs> and he's got a little bed for you. <laughs> that one's cute. I do love a little bed. This one is is maybe the most concerning this is robin tricked you into thinking that oh, she yeah, is that's grandpa a good one. and i love that the axe so that she is can under convince her you bed. to buy more buildings <laughs> wow that's creepy <laughs> it's grandpa a creepy grandpa outside too um here's here's oh that one's we'll skip those we are uh, this is, yeah uh, i had to go pong. run and make some more tea this is, this is playing ping pong on grandpa's bed <laughs> this is the wow, this is a, a streamer uh, showing Eric Barone concerned ape the creator of Stardew Valley. Evelyn looks a little more athletic Valley than moves. I would imagine, but yeah, uh, right. <laughs> Grammy can move just so that I could go and make me some tea. And, uh, yeah, I mean, people are very creative. All right, let's see this last. And one. this is the final one. I think this was the OG, the one that started it all. It's the Family Guy death pose. Family Guy death pose. <laughs> <laughs> good bits, good fun. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh about to be real loud let me turn this right back on down desktop audio too all right now it's time to play some lost and random folks so we're gonna get into it we're gonna see how this goes and hopefully it'll play fine and show up as it ought to do like i said i had to install i had to install ea launcher on this which is not my preferred was that a Can You Feel My Love cover by Nerdbaster? I know, I hate that showed it up. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess that's, um, if you guys want, you can go follow my alt account. I have a, um, did some music streams that I'd love to start doing again. Uh, NS Music, E-N-N-E-S-S -S Music. Um, you can find the VOD on NS Music's YouTube channel. And that's where I was, I was ripping those VODs and uh, putting them on TikTok. <laughs> and that's why they were there. So there's a couple of those, but not under the nerd pastor Nate moniker. I would never dare. I would never dare use this mantle. All right, let's pull up our game cap real quick. Hopefully this will work. And go to game capture, full screen, perfect. Cut the music and we'll try our best to see how this goes. Hopefully it'll go and hopefully uh, it'll just be without a hitch, yeah? That'd be ideal. Already a hitch. Already a hitch. Already a hitch. Here we go. Boom, boom. Perfect. Dope. All right. So this is Lost in Random. I've never seen this game or played this game. I have no idea what to anticipate with this game, um, except for the fact that it was recommended by our own H-Man here in the chat. What was that? They are watching. Oh, are these your tips? Is this a loading screen? Fine. All right. Okay. All right. Yep. All that is fine. I'm definitely reading all of these things. I can't go any faster. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Let's see if there's any options that I need to control here. I think we're all good. Typically, I try to look and make sure the audio is all good. It might be random and you might get lost. No promises. Is it crazy loud, folks, or is it not loud enough? Let me know. Let me know if it's somewhere in the middle of those two.
Hopefully you just can't even hear me blowing my nose. I'm so sorry about that. I really am. I don't want to be sick, believe me. So I understand that this game has a lot to do with dice. Long ago, in a land you might remember from your dreams. I do, I remember the power it. Of randomness was celebrated by all. Those with dice would roll the car crash. Their destinies. Some might the say that. Bravest few would challenge each other in games of chance. Epic tournaments in which their very lives would hang in the balance. Oh my, were you part of the Court of Owls? Oh no, for some reason the teabag, the teabag burst! Get the dice energy! Let's get that energy, Fortune! I will. I don't know what it means, but I got it. I did it. More energy, energy, energy in my eyes. Okay, X to attack. Hang on, I need more. There's more energy back here, dude. I, I don't have time. I'm trying to load the dice, dude. Oh, I see. They also give me energy, energy. Oh, I can throw my dice. Okay. Shift a bit. What? Did I get a special weapon? Leave dice mention. I love that. Did I get a stronger weapon? Nice. Whoa. Okay, all right. Gotta collect the energy. Love getting energy. Big fan of energy. Okay. Oh, how did I get here? All right, more Court of Owls, people. Watch out! No! no! But that was in the era of the dice wielders. And like all eras, it too would come to an end, fading into the art style's great. Mystery. Super Coraline and Tim Burtony. Did you draw a card? You can't afford to play immediately. Keep it in your hand with the golden pin. Is any enemy too fast for your blows? Use time trap to slow them down. Try combining Sonic Bloob and Crystal Curse for a deadly harvest of dice energy. Our story begins later. That one in Wongroth. A small village populated entirely by people who have never once been dealt a fair hand. Great voice. Attention, Warners! I am the Queen, and my dark dice will decide your fate. Random rules! Was that person's hat just on fire? Honored, you're a sixer. Oh, wow! I'm gonna live in the Queen's Dream Palace for the rest of my- Nuh-uh, you're a dirty three, doomed to a life of fighting and misery. That's cheating! Well, so is having an almighty dice snake eye. <laughs> Stop, you guys. Wrap this up. Yeah, it's on fire. Should really get going. It's just a game, sis. Even I promised Mom and Dad to get you home. The Queen! Lurk real quick. Oh, good H man. Appreciate the heads up. Odd, wait. Stay behind me, puss. Puss you run home and hide. Oh, odd and even. That's cute. I can't do anything? I can't jump? It's just hit with X, that's the only control. And then throw the dice with Y. Oh, 
Oh no! No! I feel like you should be more concerned. I mean, this feels pretty obvious. That was incredible. Yeah, I'm incredible. Come on, let's get out of here. Am I missing things? Are there things I should be seeing? Okay, so now I have my slingshot. Live! What's up, Weesh? Nanny Fortuna works for the Queen, kidnapping children for her. Kidnapping? And so the Queen decreed that any child who had reached the age of 12 would be given the grand honor of rolling her one true dice, which would reveal to them their place in the world of random. Check out this secret. Not Hunger Games. All of the children. Uh, it's, uh... Old clothes face. Good work, Frog. Nice work, Bernie. Let's go. For the Queen's wisdom. No, I'm trying to go down. I'm trying to go down. All right, camera. Which is infinite. Which makes it very easy for all of you to do what she says. Since she is and ever shall be correct. And though you may feel a twinge of emotion when you watch your children move to their new. Ensure that you are feeling the correct emotion, which is joy. Joy that the Queen's plan for us is so grand. Joy that her one true dice has deigned to fit the fate of your offspring. And joy, yes, joy that today her representative. Even I like the world already. The world building is really fascinating. Been worried sick. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried to. There's no time. She'll be here any minute. Oh, by the way, Buish, I instituted that clip command for mods. Just a heads up. Happy birthday. Oh, even. And I got a present for you. It's so cute. Make a wish. I got tea leaves all in my all in my um. All in my tea. So Odd got picked up. This really is Hunger Games, huh? And the queen said every this time was HBO's request. Years, shall throw this supreme dice, and so it was. For random is fair, random prevails, and random rules. Random I'm getting like a palace vibe from Persona 5. Is here for your special day. Doesn't this look like whenever you discover the, like, true identity? It does look really good. Here we go. Roll! Roll! Now roll the dice and let's see what kind of Little Nightmares. Tim Burton. For sure. Now one! No! Nat six crit, baby! It had been settled. Oh. At least. That's worse. Whoops. Even! Oh, no! I see that's bad. It's bad. No! Odd's destiny came to be living by the side of the queen up in the Sixer's palace. We gotta go rec and rescue her! Said, all dreams came true. I doubt it. But Even's nightmare was just beginning. We gotta save her! This is a really long trailer for the new Leica Studios movie, for real. Kubo and the Six Sided Die, man. Okay. You unlocked Happy Birthday! Got an achievement. Look at me. Getting achievements, not even trying. Got a gotcha, then lurk. I go and get your gotcha ready, then. I 
Am I supposed to be moving right now? Or is this a scene? I'm getting the vibe this is I'm supposed to be moving. Xando, just pulling them badges, dude. You just got Blaine's flame badge here. Rock on. Xando's looking very likely to be the one choosing our tier maker. He is the gotcha king after all. Let's move it. I'm singing happy I'm birthday. Man. It's a ghost. It's a ghost. I'm not letting that ghost to get away. I'm, I'm gonna find you, okay? Am I odd or am I even? I'm even. Help me find you. Odd. I'm, I'm here, sis. I'm coming, Odd. Do you have dreams like this? Because I don't. This is not how I dream. I don't dream of a void. It's my sister. My sister, are you happy? In the Sixer land? It's a little spoopy. They look nice. One Croft. One Croft is the junkyard of random and home to the Oneers, the poorest of the six peoples. You sleep? No way. My dream is like a dog and maybe some grass. I dream a lot about people. More than a year had passed since but never a void. Had been taken away from them. And in all that time, even had never dreamed like that before. I like her hair. I'm a fan of that ponytail. P -p -p ponytail. Even knew she was now awake and knew this was the same house. She'd lived in her entire life, but something seemed off. Do tell. Some things. A portrait of Uncle Jinx. It, a painting of Aunt Cordelia. She could play every single musical instrument in one cross. With an image of great, great, great grandmother Walter. An image of great, great grandfather Peters. Two hundred years ago, he ate all his clothing to win a bet. Even supposed. There was the reason this portrait stopped at the neckline. What is Even sleep? His father never told her stories. He preferred reality to fantasy. The physicality of hammers and nails to the ephemeral mists of dreams and fantasy. These a whole lot to see here. showed stories even his mother told her were safe to share because they were true. Or so she said. Like the story of the card makers of Five Town. Who'd suffered a horrible fate. Odd shoes. Little parts of her life still dotted their house. It didn't make it a happy house, but that was fine by even. She never wanted to forget her sister. Oh, it was still very late. Or was it very early? And even didn't want to wake her parents. I know that's how we're tiptoeing. It's what I get when y'all ask and answer the question of the day in the Discord because it's too early. Too early. Dude, we're about to start a morning stream. Just wait. Early, early. Evans mother had ever made you gonna get up at 5.30 to join our streams, Wish? Shadow Man, a mysterious figure who gobble up children who ventured too far from home. Even was too old to believe in such stories. But no. <laughs> no mega law. Your fault for being in a different time zone. I even posted a little late today, too. Always 8.30 for me. I'm a stickler for schedule. There's nothing I love like a good schedule. It's the ghost! Why would the first thing you do be to shoot the ghost, dude? Even An ugly doll? Boy, feeling the ground tilt beneath her. That was the exact same stuff Hashtag non spawn given odd on the night she was taken. Even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing. But I'm she August. had to go. She had to know. Double spawn. We did it.
All right, I found my slingshot, although I didn't really. I just kind of, I just kind of walked. Follow the glowing figure. It's a ghost, dude. It's a ghost. A glowing figure. Sprint. Seemed to keep its distance from you. Run, 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 run. I get a run. I got to run, 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 run. I got to run. I got to run, run, run. Somewhere. Ma'am? Ma'am? Easy there, Ethan. What are you doing out so darn late? You're running like the old witch Uma put a curse on you. Who's that? I'm on the trail of a ghost. I'm on the trail of my sister. I'm on the trail of I don't know what it is, but I know it's important. I like that one. Oh, darling. You're thinking about your sister, aren't you? Your hands are so small. I feel you, child. I do. How do you button that button? She's been gone now a year. How do you button that button with those tiny, tiny hands? I need to get past you, Astrid, please. You're wasting time I don't have. Move. No, I need to get past you, please. Ah. That spark in your eye tells me you're not fooling around. I remember being your age once, I do. And I know how important imagination can seem. All right, all right, I'll get out of your way. But don't tell your parents- Oh, those are glasses! That's adorable. Why does she only have glasses on two of her four you're eyes? Welcome, young Miss Edram. And stay away from the outskirts. No. Posted last night, VOD. I believe your supervisor wants to speak with you. <laughs> I shared it, yeah. I shared the VOD with all of my superiors. All right. Go, 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 ghost! Jesus, I want to explore all these areas, but I can't tell if anything is important. This was Wongroff, the world in which even and her small family lived. Like all Wonners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. I don't like that eye! This labor was done for reasons... I don't like that eye! ...they understood. The Queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her. And that was enough for everyone. everyone was it enough for everyone? It is, except even... Gotta work. All good, Sneaky. Thanks for hanging out with us. Appreciate the lurk, my friend. I gotta find that ghost. Are these oh, all my gosh. friends? Hit it. It's right there. He's trying, Lucky. Oh shucks. Now I'm all out of potatoes. All these. <laughs> no breakfast tomorrow, and you couldn't hit the spot. Smooth going, bad. But it wasn't my... Uh, I mean, you're the one who... Uh, uh, whoa. Not bad, even. I knew you could do it. Lucky shot. I did it three times. Impressed. I could do that too if I wanted. No we don't talk yeah, about last night's VOD, VOD, VOD. We don't talk about last night's VOD. It was on stained glass page. <laughs> oh, boy. If only my voice were here. Oh, a journal? Nope. Wrong one. Bedtime stories. Find the ghost. Okay. There's the map. I like that map! Man, everything about this is so aesthetically pleasing. Okay. Are there going to be side quests and stuff, too? Hello, friend. You seem like you're looking for something, kid. What is that? What is that, please? Greta Bogpot. You seem like you're looking for something, kid. A ghost, I think it's done something to my sister. I think it might be my sister. I recognized you. Your odd sister, right? Mm -hmm. Did the big roll a year ago, if I recall? Yeah. She's in the queen's care now, kiddo. There's nothing any of us can do. You're a catfish. What do you know? That's what you think. That it is. That it is. But I didn't get this far by chasing after ghosts. And I recommend you do the same, even. Go on home. Your parents will be worried. No. No, I won't. No, I refuse to go home. It's a ghost. I see you. Comic Con mug. There, you saw it, didn't you? There it was again. Oh, I saw it. I feel like there's so much that I want to explore, but I feel like it, it, none of it is actually important. Uh, come on. Well, whatever that spirit wanted, 
It seemed to involve bringing even here. Oh, but why? They do not look friendly. Ah, uh, they, they do not. Can I sneak around? Because they do not look friendly. Friend or foe? Yeah, it looks like a foe. Doesn't, doesn't, don't they look like a foe? I don't like the look of them. We don't talk about the D-pad incident. That was hilarious, dude. Big city life. I don't care, Ben city Forgot. To be so I don't need world building. I just need this ghost. Smack. But what is that way? Why do they give me so many options? Why am I begging for a linear game right now? Honestly, Stained, I'm just amazed that didn't happen to you sooner. That her fate was changing. That her future was suddenly filled with unknowns. And she also had the distinct feeling that she wouldn't be back home for quite some time. Bloop. Fair. A fair feeling. Why can't you fall off the sides of the bridge? I know. I remember that thing. That was the thing that was on my back earlier. Am I about to get my dice? I want my die. Friend! Yeah, they like they make her even like precariously like balanced, but I bet I can't fall off. <laughs> She's like, well, oh, better not fall off. Uh, no, you can't. You can't fall off. Am I a joke to you? How many hours in and that was the first time? That's really, it really is surprising. That is so much bigger than it looked like at the tutorial. Is this the great Deku tree? Is this the Deku tree? Is this the Deku dice? The Daisu tree? That's a triangle. That is not a dice. Foresight to die, I guess. <gasps> Cards. Take them. <laughs> They're my cards now. Jumping beans. Take them, dude. We have. We don't even say anything. All right, mysterious playing cards. These playing cards are beautifully painted, and in some angles, they even glow a faint blue. Pips! Some curious little pip creatures on two legs hopping around in a glass jar. Those are Mexican jumping beans, my friend. Those are plain and simple. Some moth larvae inside of beans. I see you. I see you stained. I mean, that is the great Daisu tree I've ever seen one, dude. All right, trying to precariously balance. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I bet I can I climb up or can I not? Is it gonna be like, no, that's too high up. How are you supposed to get up there? Am I going the wrong way? Am I going the wrong way? What am I supposed to do? Is there another way? Can I go deeper into the Daisu tree? Is there like another side of the Daisu tree? Yes. Okay. Alright. Oh, it's the ghost! Come here, ghosty! Even good barely make out what the ghostly figure was. It's a ghostly it was figure. Beautiful, inscrutable, and there seemed to be a sorrow to her. You don't know her pronouns. You haven't asked. Coral. The harbor. This is a bigger world than I thought it was going to be. There was no time to think. Even was either going home to her parents without answers and with even more questions than before. Or she was getting on that boat. She felt a pull, beckoning towards something new. I can't jump over that? I can't jump over that? How do I get over? Oh, I see. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice, dude. Games are so cool, aren't we? It really is a great time to be a gamer, dude. Every year is the best year to be a gamer. Oh, hello. Oh, those are some nice cards you have there, kiddo. Yeah, is those you your, are those, them yourself? what's happening? Who are you? Who are you? Well, Zach, well, let me take a look. I'd rather not, actually. Maybe, maybe these old papers will notice something you have. I really it. would not like to do that. Well, suit yourself, Missy. Ain't gonna force you into doing anything you don't want to. Okay, that's I'll very... Before you go, a word of warning. Be careful out there, Missy. Tonight's the night the junk collectors come. These boats are here, and the guards over there don't let nobody close. Abba's hiding secrets tonight, Missy. You're the weirdest person I've ever met. Is it dangerous here? Ain't nobody safe when the queen's on the throne. Ooh. It's safe travels. All right, I'm back for 10 minutes. Stay is crazy. All good, H-Man. We're just experiencing the beauty of this game. We do appreciate the Rex. I didn't even realize earlier that's what they were teaching me to do. Keep an eye out for those owls, friends. See, there's so many Seeky Secrets, dude. There's so many Seeky Secrets. I know it, and I'm not taking the time to explore, and I'm missing out on Seeky Secrets. Seeky Secrets. What are your early thoughts? It's very, it's very pretty. I like the look of it a lot. Now I wonder if I can I fall off these. Ha ha ha! Nope. I knew it, man. Can't fall off nothing. All right. Red light. This is just Wind Waker. Oh, thank you. Is that a dead person? What is happening there? Um, I like it a lot, though. Yeah, I like it a lot. This part gave me a very Sly Cooper. Uh-huh, yep, definitely get a Sly Cooper vibe. Storybook. I can read all the storybook pages in my, in my binder. I'm so glad you don't have to collect more pellets to shoot. That would be very annoying. It's very nice that's not a thing that you have to do, or at least not yet, anyway. Does it have another position? Very Sly Cooper. 100%. Guys, my neck is killing me. Run, 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 run. Run. Run, not so fast. Run, 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 run. Schmack. next Ooh. am I supposed to go back down there it seems to be what they're telling me to do Ooh. yeah I haven't played Sly Cooper in a long time dude the Thievus Raccoonus let me in! Let me in! Want all the coins? The coin collection has begun. Begun. How do I get that storybook page? Well, I need it. How do I get down there? I need that storybook page. What am I gonna just not not get it? I need that storybook page. How do I get it? There's a ladder. I gotta get back down. I can't just not get collectibles, dude. Came down in a bubble dog. Whoa, he didn't go as far as I thought he was going to. Okay, cool. How's everyone's week going? I know now that um H Man's is crazy. Yeah. 
Trombone did it. We stained Trombone, sneaky. Anybody out there? How's your day been? Thought today was Wednesday. That's a good sign to how it's going. Yeah. What is this? Super bummed it's Tuesday. Now there we disagree. I'm very happy that it's Tuesday. If it were Wednesday, I'd be panicking. This week is already going by too too quickly. With two kiddos now, weekends are like can stay away. Weekends are not enough. I was about to say, what is Stain doing? <laughs> Where's Stain's head at? Dropping daddies in the chat. What's going on? Whoa. What's happening now? Was there, I feel like there was more back there, right? What's the, what's the purpose of all this? There's too many red lights here to not mean anything, right? Uh -huh. No, they're staying pretty still, huh? Did you forget what type of channel this is, right? This is family friendly. It's in the tags. It's in the tag, Stain. Nope. This game is not rewarding me. I want to be rewarded for my curiosity. I do like these progression points. That's very nice. Now, go Gotta away. lurk again for meeting number three. Um, please let me in. I'm trying to hide. What do you think I'm doing here? We're all trying. Why do you think I'm doing it? This is Herman's hidey hole. My little stowaway chamber, my realm of I was not prepared for hidey hole. You're not invited in. I was not prepared for hidey hole. Muddy town. I mean something that's delightful, like my room here. Is that his little foot down at the bottom? <laughs> wow. You really are just a kid, huh? <clears throat> well, well, guess what? I myself was a kid once. Kid Herman. And now I'm adult Herman, and I'm getting out of here. Now go find your own spot. There are no other spots. There are no... Oh, come on. There's got to be other spots. Go find what is that in the background now? Oh, that's the eye. That's the eye thing. Please, Herman, my sister's in trouble. I have to get aboard this boat. Oh, for the love of... <clears throat> fine. Fine. You little... Is there not room shipper. enough for both of us? I'll let you in. Thank you. Oh, but before I do, we got ourselves some house rules. Okay. One, be quiet. Deal. Two, don't touch anything. Easy peasy. And three, be quiet and don't touch anything. That sounds familiar. Well, I didn't realize that was going to progress things. I was hoping Although to explore. She let herself think about it, even realized she was actually exhausted. Tonight alone, she'd seen a ghost run away from a home and boarded a ship traveling somewhere deep into the unknown heart of Random. Would she ever return? It didn't matter. Art was the only thing that mattered. With her sister's name on her lips, even fell. <laughs> I do not sleep. care for the eyeball monster. Random is fair, random prevails, and random rules. Random rules, friends. Cook with your friends. Hot friend. Is this my house? No! Okay! 
Are they floating or hanging? Hello, even. You're okay. Home. It's where you belong. Getting some heavy Coraline vibes now. What's wrong with everybody? There's no time. No time. No time. Yeah. A wanna is a wanna. Is a wanna is a wanna. When you're right, you're right. Even. Come stay with us. Do you want some tea? I would like some more tea. I don't want tea. I need to go see Odd. do you need to see her? It's my sister. We've seen her before. Listen to your mother, even. It's not safe. It's we need to go. It's a dangerous world out there. Y'all don't have Listen pupils. How would you even know? Even. Stay here. It's safe here. We'll never leave you again. Not ever. Not ever. That's not even. what that said. It said let you leave again. It said let you leave again. Mom. We'll always be here, even. You'll always be her, even. Her desires are odd. It's the only way she'll learn. Go. Even if you're lost. The queen will find you. I feel like this this person likes some wordplay. Where's my sea, sir? My sea star! Don't do it. <gasps> the queen! Yes. Please. Please. I want to go. I miss my sister. I miss my parents. My I... You're safe, Nella. I don't they think so. They can't hurt you anymore. H hurt me? No, that's not right. They never... I... I... I don't think they... They were denying you your future. Robbing you of your true destiny. You're finally home. Now, obviously, the scary violins in the background made that very much more tense than I feel like it needed to be. Because she didn't actually say anything all that bad except for the whole gaslighting Wake thing. Up! Wake up, girl! No, 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 no. This whole time ship's falling apart, Tata. Today's a difficult day for you, Herman. Wait! What am I supposed to do? Take one of these bad boys! <laughs> I like that. Boy! Oh, it's just what everybody's doing. This is just a normal thing in this world. This is just a thing they do in this world. She'd also lost sight of her last connection to home. We barely know okay. him. Still alive. Uh, I can work with that. As long as I don't land on water, I should be able to work with that. Uh, find time to remember I don't know how to speak. She hoped desperately that she'd land somewhere near Six Town. But the wind and the fates had very different plans for her indeed. Look spooky. Where are we at? Whoa, where is this place? Not in one craft anymore. The open world experience does spoil a little bit of the linear. Storytelling, huh? She couldn't yet understand it, but even had landed in the middle of something exceptional. Is it time to meet my These dice friend? Were the ruins of a time long past, and the magic she could almost sense in the air wasn't about to give up its secrets that easily. I need the die. I need it. I want my dice friend. Longest tutorial ever. I must be the first person to come here in decades. Oh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Those are bad guys. What's going on here? All right. This is fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. This is fine. I'm fine. That's fine. That's probably a, that's probably a fine place for me to go, huh? 
Stand right here. Okay. Nope. Yeah, I didn't want to go anywhere near that guy. That's pretty much the last person I want to be near, actually. Ah. I'm wearing thin, folks. Oh, of course, the closing door. Something we find all the time. Is automated... Automated doors. Automated locking doors. Leave me alone, you! You crazy machine! Right, I think I want to make him smack these thingies. Oh, on the dice. Gross. Boing, 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 boing. There I go. This is fine. This is a totally fine and normal thing. This thing that's happening right now is totally fine and normal, and definitely not strange. I am now playing as a living dice. Living die. Man, the design of this game really is just so good. Hey, um, are are you okay? No subtitles for this scene. Uh. Oh, hello. Aw, they're both scared of each other. He's just a little guy. He's just a little fella. Look at the little fella. Aw, he's just a little friend. I don't like him. I don't like a little friend. He makes me uncomfortable. Okay. Uh, well, thanks for saving me back there. You were really... Well, heroic. Right. <laughs> okay. Talking to a die. A I die. better get going. Talking to you a die. You should too. This place is really dangerous. Oh, rough. <laughs> that was a rough, rough run mechanic there. All right. I mean, I guess you can tag along. Uh, the more the merrier, right? Okay, yeah. Ivan, keep it together. I'm talking to a dice now, even. Die. And to yourself. Is dice, is dice ever the singular? Lucy, over there. Oh, nice. Nice. Not a trap. <laughs> he does make me awful uncomfortable, dudes. These ulcers in my mouth are absolutely killing me. I apologize if I'm not talking up to my normal my normal par. Hey! Those are mine! You don't just take things from people. Ugh. Fine, you could hold on to them, I guess. Just don't digest them. Alright. I'm betting all these baddies are going to be awake now, huh? 
Yeah. Watch out, guys. These machines are coming alive too. Yep. Who would have thunk yep. it? They're attacking. And I don't have my blade anymore. If I recall correctly, it was Y. Card tokens. When throwing dice, you get card tokens equal to the result. They're shown in the upper right corner of the screen. You use card tokens to activate your cards. Leave the dice mentioned by attacking something or by pressing Y. Oh, it was clear that these were no ordinary cards. And Dicey was no ordinary dice. Something extraordinary was awakening. Okay, let's do it. Sword time. All right, I'm clearly not as OP as I thought I was going to be for a tutorial. But I deed it. Oh, I can summon another one? What happens if I summon another one? Do I get two swords, or do I get a stronger sword? Even didn't understand what was happening to her and her new dice friend. Resets but the durability of the sword. To. Not the durability! It's true that she understood no! She was not truly durability! And kicking robot butt. Oh, that's almost worse than encumbrance, dude. Oh, that's the worst. The girl and her dice became more and more inseparable. Boom. I've earned $14 for my stream, so I guess I can retire now. Welcome to the world of streaming. That's an exciting milestone, man. Summon a bomb. Shoot or hit it to activate it. Take cover. Don't need it anymore. Fight's done. More cards? Oh, I wonder what these do. Check out Genevieve. Oh, listen, we're an incredible team, and as long as I'm going to be talking to you, I should probably know your name. Where do I know? Who's the name of? I don't like that the subtitles in the voice don't well, line up. How about if I just call you Dicey? <laughs> Perfect. Well, let's see if we can find a way out of this place, Dicey. Which way did I come from? Is this the way I came from? Nope. Let's do it. Let's explore. These little crabs. Oh, I don't like them. Oh, I don't like them. Not a fan. Oh, I don't have my sword anymore. To the entities that slumbered in this long forgotten world, even had just become interesting. <laughs> and that was seldom good. All right, what do I have? A health elixir. Tastes like strawberries. Or a bomb. I guess I'll have the bomb, and I guess I'll put it right here. Give him one more, Dicey. Too far away. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. You know, you learn. You learn. I need my sword. Good, my sword. A game that a game that relies on aim is not one for me. All right, a sword. I see. We're moving as one, an unstoppable fighting machine. And... Yeah! <laughs> yes! The greatest! 
Gamer! <coughs> oh! When even is about to get hit, press B to perform a blink dodge. Okay. Like a parry. Right, what else do I have? Ah! Lucky draw, unpredictable yet sometimes generous. Dice mention hands out one card token to even. <coughs> Let's do it. Uh, bow and arrow? Okay. Cool. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need it. Wow. Wow. I need my sword. This is really fascinating gameplay. Really interesting stuff. I'm fascinated. I'm compelled. Currency. Glad I've been collecting that currency all along. There's things that came out of your head. How, how do they? Well, I'd be having a headache too. Right. Well, um, we'll have to talk more later, but for now. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Oh, look at friends! Ah, oh, friends! Friends is very sweet. We stand good friends. I guess that was a reward. It's like a reward. It's like something out of Mum's drawings. Drawings? Could have sworn it's on Al. Oh, oh. Cool, another live dice. Die. No need to be rude. I don't like the way they spelled whoa, but it's fine. Are the other dice here asleep? They're waiting for their own dice wielder. What happened in this place? I guess I'm a dice wielder now. May not be your dice wielder, but I can still be happy or helpful. Ancient dice. I hope that one day someone will come for you too. My, do my narrative choices make any difference? I kind of feel like they don't. Ready, Dicey? Another fight. Uh-oh. It's a big bad. It's a big bad. Lock on target. Press RS to lock on to a uh, robot. That would have been nice to have known this entire time. Now. Hang on. 
hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's put it right about here. And then we'll go. Hang on, you know, let's go to the other side. Because then they ought to come for me, hopefully. Smack! <laughs> yes, sir! Yes, sir! The greatest gamer hath returned. Okay, good. I got my bow and arrows. Get my bow and arrows. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough juice. What am I gonna do if I don't have enough juice? Cheers! Got a full hand? What does that mean? Okay, well, obviously I want a sword. Is that all that I have juice for? Okay, good. They gave me some more juice. Um, I don't need any of this. Not helpful. Not helpful! Smack! Smack, smack! Give me more energy, energy, energy. Nice, another bomb. Another bomb. But I simply do not have enough juice. There's ever been. Do, do, do. Oh, never mind. Not dead. Not dead. My sword. And... Yeah. Did I do it? I feel like I did it. I did it. That's so anticlimactic. <laughs> so far, the one thing that I think this game is lacking in is the uh, uh, OST. Ooh. These colossi were indeed colossal. Things were looking grim. Isn't Colossi AE? Dice energy out of reach. Remember that you can send out Dicey. By aiming at the desired destination and then pressing RB. It's always disappointing when you what you thought was a novel turns out to be a very short story. All I can do is apologize. Yes, good time for the bow and arrow. I don't have enough for it, though. Ramp! Oh, I see. My hand resets every time. Oh, that's very interesting. Why? Why do you think that is? Why would it reset every time? It's a weird choice. I guess I'll try and throw. So I guess you can't just summon anything you want 
unlimited times. Hmm. Okay, well, I need my sword. Or I need a bomb. Bomb would probably be more helpful, I guess. By all therapy time. All good, Trombone. Thanks for hanging out with us. I probably won't stream the full time today anyway. I'm wearing down pretty quick with this crud. I wanted to try for the full three hour stream today, but time will tell. So this time I have two. So will this give me three? Okay, well I want the bomb. Right here. And then I want my sword. Yes. And then I want to do this. And then I want to go smack! 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 Yeah. This is gaming. No problem. If Mviga is still streaming, then they are my raid suggestion. If I'm not back before you end. All good. Thanks for the wreck. Oh, I see. I don't even have to aim. That's nice to know. Bro! Alright. Go for the cheat again. The cheat! The cheat! Done did it, baby! <laughs> I got a boon! Blessed by the dice wielders of old, the cost of each card in even hand is decreased by one card token. Love it! That's a nice boon. All right, Dicey. You're, you're quite something. I'm on a, no, I'm looking for my sister. I'm on, a, I'm on a revenge. She was kidnapped by an evil queen. We should get going. Uh, just hope she's still alive. She must be, and we're going to find her. That was a beneficial conversation, and I'm glad I had it. finally had a moment to catch their breath. Take a breather and... Dicey, wait! Okay, well, I guess we just died. One minute mystery or trivia? Which would you prefer, mystery or trivia, my friend? I got both of them. Oh, what's up? Why am I dressed this way? Whoa. Trivia. Okay, I'm just a little spooked right now. A little spook my goot. Off we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is fine. I'm fine. This is fine. Everyone's fine. We're all fine. This is good and normal and healthy and fine. What's not to love about... Who is Royal? What? 
This game's going to some weird places, huh? Can't run anymore. their little hats. Look at the dirty trash, Cyclops. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut What is going on here? The other kids, they they said I was a filthy one-on. She is. She's not a sixer like us. Oh, ho, ho. the dice doesn't lie, children. <laughs> yeah, but, but she was just lucky. She's a one -er. You can smell it on her. Oh, you more smarter than the black type? <laughs> um, uh, I mean, no, I, I just... Oh, so now you're saying she is a sixer after all. So you've lied to me either way. Um, uh, I mean... Lying should be punished, Odd. Don't you agree? You don't have to. I was just... Now, now, there's no room for pity. Either everything's fair or nothing is! I like it. Trivia. All right, you know the rules. Stained. But just remember that might be watching and does not remember the rules. I'm going to read a random question, and I'm going to count to 15. You have until the end of that count to type the answer in the chat. Okay, the question is... What word denoted the new policy of openness adopted by Mikhail Gorbachev's government in the Soviet Union? Good luck to you, Stained. What word denoted the new policy of openness adopted by Mikhail Gorbachev's government in the Soviet Union? One, two, three, four. By the way, if you know this, I want to know how and why, because I, I want to know why this is important. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sneaky! Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sneaky, do you want to type it in the chat? And tell me how to even pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce it. But it is glass glassnost. Glasnost. Glossnost. Glusnost. It's important because it oh, perestroika. Maybe, maybe. Yep, that's the one. Glasnost. Glasnost. Important because it helped usher in the fall of communism in the nineteen nineties. Well, that is very important. A living lunchbox. Monster! I'm gonna tell the buyer. I would have never in a million years known that. You could have held a gun to my head and I wouldn't have known the answer to that. Not a chance. Well, we're here. Let's see where here is, Dicey. It allowed Coco McDonald's to open in the Soviet Union. A very important thing. All right, we're in the two town. We're in two town. We've beaten the first world. I feel like that's a good place to wrap up because I'm wearing down quickly, my friends. So we're going to go ahead and exit out to the main menu. I hate we didn't get a chance to go to a store or anything. Um, I'm sure that was probably right on the horizon. Um, that's a pretty fun game. That's a pretty fun game. I definitely, uh, I definitely get the idea. I get the vibe. I think that it's a lot of fun. It seems like a good experience. That would be a good time to have. Lost in Random. I like the mechanic. The fighting style is really interesting. Um, it doesn't really feel as much up to chance as it does like a deck builder. I thought it was going to be like really chancy, but chancy, chancy, chancy wasn't. 
But this has been fun. This has been a fun stream back, even though I have been a little bit tired. I'm so sorry that I'm sick, you guys. It's such a bummer. It's such a bummer to come back to streams, to be so excited to get back on the horse, which granted, this is still technically my last week of paternity leave. So I, I don't technically like have to be here, but I'm here because I want to be here. I'm excited to be back to streaming. I wanted to get a slow start back, but I'm so tired. And my ulcers hurt so bad. They hurt so bad. Every single time I speak, it's absolutely uh, torture. So that being said, I'm gonna go get some rest and uh, get some work done and do all sorts of things. But I appreciate all the support and all the encouragement, all the good vibes and all that kind of stuff from all you wonderful folks. We gotta go see, who are we gonna raid? Who did, who did Trombone say to raid? Mobiga. We can raid. We don't, we don't have a huge crowd to raid with, but that doesn't make a difference. We can still raid. Still an option on the table. Mobiga. <laughs> Folks, we are Checkpoint Church. We're really a church. I am Nerd Pastor Nate. I'm really the pastor of this church. And we're doing all sorts of exciting things all the time here at Checkpoint Church. We're getting back into the swing of things. Oh, they're playing Elden Ring. Oh, super fun. I assume this is the right Moviga. It's definitely spelled exactly like that. So hopefully that's the case. Folks, regardless of whether or not you believe in God, regardless of whether or not you go to church, regardless of whether or not you enjoyed this stream, none of those things change these three things that we believe to be true about every single one of you out there watching the stream, watching the VOD, any of that stuff. Number one, we believe that God loves you, like really, really loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. And number three, we believe that you, yes, you matter. You're a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you're in it. Folks, with that, we're gonna go raid Moviga. Um, let's see. What should what should we tell what should we tell the fine the fine folks over at Movie? I didn't even think about that. Just go spam some you matters in the chat. Spam some you matters in the chat and tell them that we love them. We appreciate them. Happy they're here. Maybe don't tell them that we love them. We don't know them. <laughs> I don't know who this person is. They might they might be weirded out by that. Just say you matter. You matter is all we need to tell them, folks. With that, until the next time that I see you, have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out with us, and I'll see you sometime later this week for some surprise streams maybe we'll find out until then bye bye